selling an interactive course now in 2021 is an option for individual content creators as well. So far, this has this opportunity was locked with only big players like Codecademy, but now you can go ahead and create your own interactive course on Codedam and sell it to your audience. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at five very practical ways of making money as a developer, which you should know if you're trying to make some side income with your job, or maybe you don't have a job right now and you're trying to generate some online internet-based income as a developer. Let's go. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. This video is a part of Codedam's t-shirt giveaway program for the month. If you want to take part and win an amazing Codedam t-shirt, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video about what you think and that's it, you are eligible. If your comment gets a heart from Codedam, you will win a t-shirt for absolutely free. The first one is paid content writing. There are a lot of websites which will pay you as a developer if you write content for them. I know a lot of my friends who make up to 300 USD per article as a developer which they are writing it on various publications, right? So you have to look for these publications. These are usually companies trying to build their content marketing strategy are an open to that. I mean, guest post, for example, DigitalOcean is one of the best examples for this. There are other companies like LogRocket as well, which I have heard of. So look for these companies, see if you can write certain articles for them, which pretty much are similar to your domain with you, which you're working on. And I mean, that's an easy way to make money. The second unique way to make money as a developer is selling interactive courses online. Now, hear me out. What do I mean by that? Your regular courses consist of a bunch of videos which the user just can start playing and you know just keep on playing but there's a new player in the town which you might have heard of called the codam creator which you can access at creator.codam.com where we allow you to sell codam like interactive courses to people that means instead of just video based courses the people can actually write code inside the browser and you can have interactive courses for any sort of programming language or framework you like nextjs rust c plus plus go lang just pick up your framework which you want to create a course on create an interactive hands-on practice based course and sell it to people i mean this is probably the best way to generate passive income in long term as well suppose you have created a best the best rust course online and posted on your own domain and you know you're selling it for 20 dollars a month or 20 dollars a month 20 dollars for license rather i mean that's an easy way to make money if you have a little bit of audience or even if you want to advertise your course or even if you want to partner with Codam. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but selling an interactive course now in 2021 is an option for individual content creators as well. So far, this has this opportunity was locked with only big players like Codecademy, but now you can go ahead and create your own interactive course on Codam and sell it to your audience. The third way, which is an interesting way for you, and I think everyone should do it, is also do your brand building and then leveraging it for sponsorships. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's say you are big on Twitter, or let's say you're big on YouTube, for example. Sure, you would drive a lot of ad revenue from platforms like YouTube, but you would probably get, get much more revenue as a sponsored section, right? If you're sponsoring one video a week with a, let's say a hundred, K YouTube subscriber base, you can charge anywhere between three to 5,000 USD for integration. I mean, there are a lot of variables, depends on how much engagement you have and so on and so forth. Similarly for Twitter, you could have a section where you'll say that, hey, I'll write a sponsored tweet for your company or a sponsored review and so on and still make a lot of money, right? So this would actually require a lot of effort upfront. So you would need to build up your brand. You would need to do a lot of value addition to the community. So this could pretty much take you easily over six to 12 months plus. So don't expect early returns on this, but this is a pretty good way to live actually. I mean, if you have a huge following, you know, a nice job on the side and you just have five to 6,000 USD coming in just from sponsorships and ads and so on. I mean, that's a, that's a decent earning. The next way to make money as a developer, which would work kind of well for those who are not very good developers as well, who are just maybe a little bit into their journey, is mentoring others. So, I mean, you can set your hourly rate, for example, as a $20 per hour rate and just start mentoring other people, right? 
start helping them on a paid basis, solving their bugs, doubts, anything which you want to do. This is also a great way to start making a lot of active income, but this is probably, you know, the most active way of making active income where you are really just trading your time for money. So I wouldn't rely on this a lot for long term, but this is definitely good if you just want to get the ball rolling. And the final way, which probably a lot of us already know, and I have done a lot of videos on that as well, is start freelancing on platforms like Fire or Upwork and start getting these gigs which you have to complete in a set time and set constraints and so on. If you build your brand there, I mean that's that's awesome because once you have a good branding on these freelancing platforms, you can charge anywhere from depending on a small project which could be $100, $200 to a large project which could span a lot of months which could be in tens of thousands of USD as well. As a solo developer, you can do that. So these were my five tips for earning as a developer and this consists of active and passive ways of earning obviously you would want to gear more towards the passive side of things course building sponsorships brand building and so on but realize that passive income takes a lot of time and a lot of consistent effort if you don't want to just not make it temporary right you want it to be permanent or at least have a very slow downward curve in order to do that you have to build it over time there's no other alternative so that is all for this video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon